Hello everyone, Genesis Rider here with my first Genesis Achievement Guide video. Today I'll be looking at how to get the repeat survivor achievement in Halo 4 worth 25 gamer score. Now I want to explain, unlike other guides I found very frustrating online because they didn't explain exactly what you're supposed to be doing. I'm going to press the start button on my controller and go to my loadouts. You need to create a loadout before you go into matchmaking to get this achievement. You must do this achievement in matchmaking, but you can do it on any map, unlike some of the previous DLCs. So let's go to the support upgrade first. The support upgrade obviously needs to be the armor mod they mentioned in the achievement description. The survivor armor mod. This will eject you from a vehicle when it explodes, preventing you from dying, and you can survive the vehicle explosion. Now let's go to the tactical package. We need to select the grenadier. A lot of guides did not mention this, but you unlock this at SR or Spartan rank 24. So if you're not Spartan rank 24 yet, I highly doubt you'll be able to get the achievement this easily. This is the easiest way to get this achievement. Grenade, select Plasma Grenade. And I'm going to go ahead and do the Assault Rifle. And the Bolt Shot. Alright. We need to go into Big Team Battle. The playlist Big Team Battle. So let's go to Big Team Affinity Slayer. Or you could do Big Team Skirmish. Um, I find that Big Team Affinity Slayer, though, always has mongooses, which is what you're going to need to do. That's why we load out with a Grenadier perk, because you load out with three grenades when you use that perk. So, when we get into a game, what we're going to do is we're going to go find a mongoose, bring it back to a safe location, shoot the mongoose till it's flaming. Then throw a grenade in front of the mongoose, not, not sticking the mongoose, but throwing the grenade in front of the mongoose. Get onto the mongoose, drive over the grenade, blow up the mongoose, and, that, and it'll eject us from the vehicle. You do not want to stick the mongoose because that will count as a suicide and you will not be ejected from the vehicle according to other guides out there. This is what I'm going to try, and so I'll speed up the film right here. All right, so here I am in the game on Vortex. You can really do this on any map. Make sure to choose the loadout that you created. I'm gonna go straight for our mongoose. Actually, I'm gonna, just gonna actually, I'll just use the ghost. Seems okay. Let's go over here into this building so no one will bother us here. Yeah, the ghost. Let's shoot it until it starts getting on fire. Alright, so it's pretty good on fire. So I'm going to throw a grenade and then get into the ghost. As you can see, I just got ejected, so there's one. So now I need to wait for the next ghost to spawn, which will be very soon. I can just stand inside this building and watch my radar. Alright, so there's the ghost. I see it on my radar. Go out there and get it. Let me throw a grenade. Alright, see so y'all is ejected. Now that's the second time. So I'm just going to wait for the next ghost. Alright, so there's the ghost. Go ahead and get in it. Oh, what? Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm so sorry. Oh my, I didn't even see that dude. What? Oh my gosh. So grenade. And there the achievement should pop. And there you go, repeat survivor. There's the achievement guide. I'm really sorry for betraying that dude. Um, I apologize. I did not see that guy at all. Um, so, I will see you on the next video or whatever I make. Peace, guys.